Now, Mandera Governor Ali Roba has retained his seat on a jubilee ticket after a stiff competition from Hassan Noor Hassan of EFP. He defied Council of Elders' decision and negotiated democracy that required him not to seek a re-election. Roba instead said Mandera residents would make their choice of preferred candidate guided by the track record of his tenure as first governor of Mandera. Robert's victory is seen as a council of elders who are believed to be a powerful uh, brokers in the northeastern region. Engineer Mohammed Mohamud clinched the Mandera Senate seat, while Amina Gado was elected as the woman representative. <laughs> I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Almighty Allah for having seen us through this general election peacefully. And I would like to take uh, this opportunity also to thank the people of Mandera for carrying out peaceful elections against a lot of, uh, you know, uh, tension and fear that uh, there is going to be uh, chaos in Mandara. I want to immensely thank the supporters of uh, Jubilee and supporters of EFP for making us proud as leaders and positioning us as a society ready for democratic uh, processes. To our competitors, let me also appeal to them that uh, they, let them join us. They have actually been able to put a very tough contest. I really acknowledge the contest they have made. But now that the decision has been made by the people, let us join hands and work with the people of Mandera and be able to move forward. I would like to tell my colleagues, my sisters, to join me in this and let us help our community out. I know I will stand for this community. I will work for them and I'm a servant leader.